In today's lesson, we bring algebra on one step further. Previously, we've looked at multiplying out algebra. We've also looked at simplifying algebra. Today, we bring in a very important symbol, the equal symbol. When we bring in the equal symbol, it's really important to note that this is all about balance. So balancing, sometimes you take away something and it becomes unbalanced. In order to get something to balance, you need to do the same to both sides. Okay, now they can look quite different, but it's the same weight on both sides. So that's what we're going to try and do today. The key word for today is an equation. And an, equ and an equation is any expression that has an equal symbol. So an expression, we've seen things like 2 bracket x plus 4, that's an expression. Also we have 3x plus 6, that's an expression. An expression is a mixture of variables and constants. So an equation is any expression that has an equal. So it's just bringing in that equal. So that's what the word equation means. Okay, the equal sign is so important. The equal sign theoretically divides the sum into two parts. Okay, and the whole idea here is to balance it out. Okay, so we're going to have a look at one example here, the first example, example one. Okay, here we've been given the sum 2x is equal to 8. So as I said before, the equals divides this sum into two parts. Now, I am not interested in finding what 2x is. I need to find what x is. So I need to get rid of this 2. Do you remember what we meant, talked about when we said, what does 2x actually mean? And we said, well, if we had to write it in words, it would mean 2x means 2 multiplied by x. So we can say it as 2 multiplied by x, or we could, it as, we could write it as brackets, 2 multiplied by x. So this is 2 multiplied by x. I want to get rid of my 2. If it's a multiplication, the thing that I can do to get rid of that is I can divide. So if I divided this by 2, remember we're all about balancing. I must also divide the other side by 2. Now... 2 goes into 2 once, so I'm left with 1 here, and 2 goes into 8 four times. And so my new line is 1x equals 4, and another way we can write 1x is we can just write x equals 4, which is essentially what I wanted to do there, find out my value for x. My second example here is 3x equals 9. 3x means 3 multiplied by x. I do not want to find what 3x is. The question says solve for x. It means I want to find out what x is. I do not care what 3x is. I'm going to sort out this 3 by reading it properly. It says 3 multiplied by x. Well, if I divided it by 3, that would get rid of the 3, but what I do to one side, I must do to the other. And so 3 goes into 3 once, and 3 goes into 9 3 times, and 1x equals 3, or x equals 3 in this case. Okay, I now have two more examples here. The first one is 20 is equal to 4x, and I suppose what's unusual about this is I actually have my x on this side but nothing really changes okay because remember I can read from left to right but I can also read from right to left so 20 is equal to 4x I'm looking at the 4x and that means 4 multiplied by x the question asks me to solve 4x which means I want a value for x so I need to get rid of this 4 in order for me to get rid of this 4 if I have a look at it it says 4 multiplied by x so if I divide it by 4. Remember what I do to one side, I must do to the other. That should help me. So now I have 4 goes into 4x once, and 4 goes into 25 times, and my new equation is x 
is equal to 5. And I can also write that as x is equal to 5 because you can read from left to right and from right to left and they do mean the same thing. Second example here I have is minus 5x equals 30. So you can see the issue with this is we have a minus 5. But what does this mean? It really means minus 5 multiplied by x. So how do I get rid of the minus 5? I divide it by minus 5. But what I do to one side, I must do to the other. So when you're multiplying or when you're dividing, you have certain rules. So a minus and a minus gives me a plus. And 5 goes into 5 once. So I have 1x equals... Here I have a plus and a minus, and they will give me a minus, and 5 goes into 36 times. So my answer here is x equals minus 6. Okay, we're now going on to solving equations part 2. And you can see here, now my equation is a little bit longer. 2x plus 3 is equal to 15. So we're going to first of all focus on this question here. Now, if that plus 3 wasn't there, okay, we would know pretty much how to solve it. So this is the problem. We need to get rid of this plus 3. So again, it's all about balancing. So in order for me to get rid of this plus 3, I could take away 3. That would get rid of it, wouldn't it? Plus 3 and minus 3 is 0. But again, when I do to one side, I must do to the other. So I'm going to minus 3 on this side. So now I have 2x plus 3 minus 3. They cancel. And my new line is 2x is equal to 15 minus 3, which is 12. And at this point, I know what to do. I'm not asking for 2x. I'm asking for x, so I need to get rid of the 2. But this means 2 multiplied by x. So the only way I can get rid of it is if I divide by 2. But what I do to one side, I must do to the other. And they will cancel. And I will be left with x equals 2 into 12 goes 6 times. So x is equal to 6. So, sorry, just rewrite that. So you can see here, guys, the first step is to get rid of any numbers. You want your x to be on this side equals your numbers. So this is on, you need to get rid of this, but we do it by balancing. Okay, let's have a look at the next example, which is 5x minus 4 equals 16. So obviously we're going to try and get rid of this minus 4 first of all. So we need a plus 4 to get rid of it. So what I do to one side, I must do to the other. My minus 4 and my plus 4 cancel. And I'm now left with 5x equals 16 plus 4 is going to give me 20. And at this point, it's very similar to what I've done before. I have 5x equals 20. I want to get rid of the 5, so I'm going to divide it by 5. But what I do to one side, I must do to the other, balance on the whole time. 5 into 5 goes once, so I'm left with 1x, or just x is equal to 5 goes into 24 times. So x is equal to 4. The last example then we're going to look at, and I will keep um, the previous two examples there so you can have a look and see what we're doing. So again, we have 3x minus 3 equals minus 12. We always want to get x equals. So the first thing we're going to try and get rid of is this minus 3. We do it by balancing. So if I add 3 to this, that should get rid of the minus 3 and the plus 3. But what I do to one side, I must also do to the other. So I have to add a 3 there. So now I have 3x equals minus 12 plus 3 is minus 9. And again, we're going to get rid of the 3 here by dividing by 3. What I do to one side, I must do to the other. So 3 goes into 3 once, and 3 goes into 9 minus 3 times. So my answer here is x is equal to minus 3. And to just be sure about your signs, it's the same as for multiplication. If you have a plus and a minus, that gives you a minus. So that is solving equations part 2. 
you're trying to get rid of the numbers in the sense that you want your X's on this side and I'm just gonna write hashtag here for numbers. So you want your numbers on that side. So what do you need to move around in order for that to happen? Okay, so you're now ready to begin activity two. Okay, we're now on to solving equations part three. And you can see here now that we have made the equation a lot longer. Let's read it correctly. 4x plus 1 equals 2x plus 11. Now remember, I always would like x is equal to any number, let's say 5. That's how I want it written. That's when the question says solve for x. It means tell me what x is going to be. So in other words, on this side, I just want my x's or my letters. And on this side, I want my numbers. But in order to change things or get rid of things, we have to balance. So, have a look at the first one here. I've got 4x plus 1 is equal to 2x plus 11. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this plus 1, because it's 100% not where it needs to be. In order to get rid of the plus 1, I need to minus 1. But if I minus 1, I must do it from both sides. Let's look at my new line. 4x, my plus 1 and my minus 1 cancel, equals... 2x, and here I have 11 minus 1, which is 10. Okay, right, I now have another trouble in the sense that I have this 2x here, which all my letters need to be on this side. Okay, so I'm going to balance it out. I have a plus 2x on this side. Can you think of what I'm going to need here in order to get rid of this? I need a minus 2x. What I do to one side, I must do to the other. And they will now cancel. So my new line will be 4x minus 2x. 4x minus 2x is 2x equals 10. And now we are down as far as we were for activity 1. 2x equals 10. But I don't want 2x, I want 1x. So I'm going to divide this by 2. But what I do to one side, I must do to the other. And 2 goes into 2 once, and 2 goes into 10 five times. And so my final answer is x, or 1x, equals 5. So a lot of work there. Take your time and follow the simple steps. The second example I'm going to look for is asking me to do the exact same thing. Except this time my variable, or my unknown, is y. 5y minus 4 equals 2y minus 25. And remember, I want y equals 3, or y equals 2, whatever the case may be, which means I want my y's on one side, and I want my numbers on the other. So the first thing I'm going to get rid of is this minus 4, because it is on the wrong side. And how I do that is I balance. So I place a plus 4 here, and a plus 4 here. The minus 4 and the plus 4 will cancel. And so my new line will read 5y equals 2y and here I have minus 25 plus 4 gives me minus 21. Again I want y equals something so this y is on the wrong side. It's a plus 2y here so the only way I can get rid of it is if I minus 2y. But what I do to one side I must do to the other. And 2y minus 2y go and my new line is 5y minus 2y, which is 3y, equals minus 21. And again, we're back to the very start. How do I find out what y is? Well, it's 3 multiplied by y. So the only way I can get rid of the 3 multiply is if I divide by 3. But what I do to one side, I must do to the other. 3 into 3 goes once. Um, I'm left with 1y is equal to... 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 21 7 times, and of course you've got a plus and a minus, which gives you a minus, so your answer is minus 7. You are now ready to begin activity 3.